Hello everyone. For today's video, we're going to discuss about the QuickBooks Backup Copy, Portable Copy, and the QuickBooks Accountant Copy. If you have a QuickBooks file, it is very important that you create a copy or a backup of your file because if something happens to your computer or if your computer crashes or if you lose your laptop, then all of your data will also be lost. If you have a backup or a copy that is saved in a separate computer or in an external storage device, then you can easily restore the file back to your computer. If you don't have any copy, then you will be forced to create a new company file and start from scratch. Let's start with a backup copy. To create a backup copy of your company file, you go to File, Backup Copy, and then Create Local Backup. Or you can go to File and then Create Copy. So you have three options, the Backup Copy, the Portable Copy, and the Accountant's Copy. Let's start with the backup copy, click next, local backup, click next, and we're going to save it now, click next. This will be the location of our file, click save, use this location. Okay, so it's now verifying the data integrity. We have already saved a backup copy of the file, I'll click OK. If you are creating a backup copy of your file, it means that you are recreating the entire account, your entire QuickBooks account, including the transaction logs, the logos, the images, and if you have templates for your invoices, your POs, or any forms. If you restore from a backup copy, the restored company file is complete. There is no missing data. But if you restore your backup file in another computer, but you have a, another live file in your, let's say, in your office, then any changes that you're making in your restored file can't be imported back to the QuickBooks live file. Next is we're going to create a portable copy of our file. I'll go to File and then Create Copy, Portable Company File. I'll click Next, Save. Okay. Okay, so we have already saved a portable file of our QuickBooks company file. I will click OK. A portable copy of your QuickBooks company file is a smaller version of your backup copy. It is smaller because it only contains the transaction logs and the financial data. It doesn't have the images, the templates, or any logos that you have in your invoices or POs. That's why the portable file is perfect if you are going to send it through email. The same thing with a backup copy. If you restore your portable file and you have another live QuickBooks file in your office, any changes that you are making in the portable copy cannot be imported back to the QuickBooks Live file. Next is we're going to create an accountant's copy. So an accountant's copy is the copy that we're going to send over to our accountant for auditing. The good thing about the accountant's copy is while your accountant is working on the company file, if he is making any changes while auditing the file, those changes can be imported back to the QuickBooks Live file. So now we're going to create an accountant's copy and save it to our computer to be turned over to our accountant. So we click File, Create Copy, and then choose Accountant's Copy. I'll click Next. So I'll choose Accountant's Copy. Next is we're going to choose a dividing date. I will click Custom. And my dividing date is August 31st. The dividing date divides the work that can be done on the company file. I can do changes, I can add transactions, I can edit transactions, I can delete transactions after the dividing date, but I cannot do anything, I cannot touch any transactions before the dividing date. On the other hand, the accountant can make changes, can do adjustments, can add transactions before the dividing date, but he cannot do anything or cannot do any changes after the dividing date. I will click Next. I will click OK and save to the location in your computer. 
So we have successfully created an accountant's copy with a dividing date of August 31st, 2021. So we're going to send this to our accountant for auditing. I'll click OK. After saving the accountant's copy, you can see at the top of your QuickBooks window, accountants changes pending to let you know that the accountant is working on the company file. Let's go to the folder where we saved our copies. For the backup copy, the extension is .qbb. For the portable copy, the extension is .qbm. And for the accountant's copy, the extension is .qbx. While for the live QuickBooks company file, the extension is .qbw. All right, so again, if you have a QuickBooks file, make sure that you create a copy or a backup of your company file and save it in a separate computer or in an external storage device. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you!